playing with it and looking at it. But don't be putting it over here. We have, you can't see it here in real life. What is she yeah. doing? Mommy, get this off before you get in the car so I can paint you. Can I put this on? I, I thought they were going to spend vacation getting the garage organized. <laughs> I did. What the? What the? Oh, okay. I don't see much of a change. You ready? Ah! Uh, 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 <laughs> can I have these? Ashley. Can I Ashley. Be nice to Bill. He's lonely too. Oops, I got that on video. Oh, <laughs> you can't show that. You can't show that today. You can't show that. Where did he park? He went away. Chuck? Where are you? You want to say anything in the video? It's uh, nice to be at uh, church with my family on Sabbath. Looking forward to a uh, good sermon and good fellowship today. Okay, very good. Very good, friend. Have a good Sabbath, friend. <laughs> brother, your new camera, Brother Dill. I can take pictures, video, and send it over the internet. No kidding. Yeah, it's pretty good. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good, good. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I can take pictures. It's digital, huh? Yeah, it's digital. One of them is God's unconditional love. When you have a little one, if you think about it, the logistics of a little one, no sane person goes into parenthood mm -hmm. intending or knowing all the things that I had. I think if we did, we'd reconsider. So God in his wisdom has given us that preconceived idea. But think about it. Those of you that have been parents or, or have been around little ones, for the first few years, it's nothing but narcissism. It's me, me, me at any hour of the night, any hour of the morning, irrespective of your work schedule, irrespective of your sleep schedule. And wouldn't we gladly lay down our lives for these little bundles of trouble? Isn't it a blessing that we can see an extension of ourselves? And we would do anything for this child that basically only receives. And that is the relationship that God has with us. We are his children. Regardless of what we do and where we are, we are always God's children. And he can never love us anymore. And we can never do anything that will allow him to love us any less. And that's the good news. And this morning, we're increasing our congregation. And there's many ways of doing it. Through their little baby Samuel Henry. Isn't that a great name? <laughs> Samuel <laughs> Henry. <laughs> and Jacqueline, if you want to come up. And let me tell you this relationship to our church. Uh, not too long ago, maybe about a year ago, I got a phone call uh, from a dear friend of ours, Angel Giles. And she's a, a teacher also at San Gabriel Academy. And she had been studying with this young girl, Tabitha, and uh, she uh, was 